All right, folks, we're back again. And uh, recently, FR Sky has updated the RXSR to have Access Firmware, which was going to make our XLite Pro somewhat useful to us. All right, so first things first, we're going to go to the FR Sky download page, find the RXSR, click the Access Firmware, and click Download. And just as a note, it does S port and F port. Today, we're just going to do. Uh, we're not really going to do any port. We're just going to do S bus. Okay, so we got that firmware downloaded. Go ahead and open up that zip file, and while we're at it, welcome to OpenTX. Go ahead and connect your XLite Pro to your computer, and select USB storage on the XLite. And for me, I keep all my firmware is in the firmware folder. We're going to create a new folder. I'm going to name it rxsr underscore access. Version 1.1.1. All right, and this is where I'm going to save my rxsr firmware. Okay, and that's all we have to do on the computer. We're gonna head over to the bench and I'll show you how to flash this to your RxSR. Okay, we're here at the bench. I've got my XLite Pro with my firmware files written to it for my RxSR. I'm gonna flash it to this Diatone three inch racer. If you haven't seen a review on this, uh, check it out up here. This thing is freaking amazing. I uh, highly recommend this. Uh, in the back, I have my RxSR. And I have a little cable. I'm not 100 sure where this came from, but uh, it should work out just fine. It it has a uh, it has a servo connector on one end, which is exactly what we're going to need to interface with the XLite. And on the other end, we're just going to disconnect our RXSR, and we're going to connect our little cable here. And the way the RXSR is pinned out, it should be uh, ground power, and the next one should be. S port. S port is where we load our firmware. So this should be pretty straightforward. We'll go ahead and connect our servo cable to the port on the under on the uh, the bottom of our X light. Hold the left, and we're going to come over to SD card contents. We're going to find firmware. And we're going to find our RXSR access firmware, the stuff we just wrote to the radio. And I'm just going to do S port for now. I'm not going to mess with uh, F port because this, uh, this flight controller doesn't have a built-in inverter on a TX pad. So we're not going to, we're not going to mess with that. And as a matter of fact, I don't have telemetry hooked up to this one at all. So I'm going to long click on that and select flash S port. As you can see, my RXSR is blinking away under there as the firmware's writing. So we'll just play the waiting game. And that's it. Firmware is flashed successfully. Go ahead and disconnect this, disconnect that, and we'll reconnect our existing wiring. So as you can see, this is only wired up for power, ground power and S bus. And I'm gonna make a new model, I'll show you guys how to do this. So we're gonna create a new model. The uh, setup was is a little different. Uh, I do T A E R, so throttle, roll. All right, so that's all good there. Arm, I'm going to make uh, my switch is going to be S C. My mode, 
I'll make S A and my beeper, I'm gonna make S F, which is the, the button here. All right, well, apparently I can't do that. So I'll just do S D then. Yeah, let's go on down to internal RF, uh, ISRM again, channel range, I'm going to do channel one through eight. Fail safe is going to be no pulses and we need to register our, mo our module, our receiver to this module. So uh, first thing we need to do is we need to find our bind button on our receiver, which is there. This is just like any other receiver out there. I'll hold the bind button. Wishing we had three hands. Ah, that's irritating. And we're going to go to register. Apparently I didn't get that button. Let's try this again. There we go. Got this time. Shows up RXSR. Press enter. Registration OK. Disconnect that guy. I'm going to go disable the buzzer real quick. Okay. That was getting annoying. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need to go down to receiver one. We're gonna hit bind. And while this is chirping, go ahead and plug in your your model. Here we go, RXSR. We'll select that. Bind is successful. And inside here we can go to options and we can uh, for for this one I'm not you can disable telemetry in all these receivers. I'm not going to, but we can set to the nine milliseconds PWM, which is supposed to be like the uh, uber fast communication. And as you can see, it is making talky talky to my, my model. And we can, and it will using bi-directional communication, it will update the receiver with these settings. All right, and that's it. That's how we, uh, that's how we get this thing to work. Go over and check telemetry. We should get a few sensors. We should basically get um, RSSI and, volt and receiver battery. So we can still get our RSSI warnings. And there we go. That's it. That's all we. Uh, that's all it takes to get this thing to work. Now we should be able to fly our RXSR enabled quad with Access Firmware on our X Lite Pro. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please post them in the comments box below. Uh, I'm more than happy to. Yeah, yeah. More than happy to help you out. Answer whatever questions I can. Um, and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I post a lot of uh, quick updates on the community tab. And if you're not a subscriber, you don't see the, uh, the updates I put up there. All right, guys. I'll catch you next time.